This Pitch Breakfast video is brought to you by Spangler and Agins, attorneys for Charlotte's startup community. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Manoj Doshi. Uh, spent almost like 20 years in technology industry. Uh, owner of uh, two startups in the past. It gives me a great pleasure to present to you Chrismo. Chrismo is uh, targeted towards homeowners, homeowners like you and me, first-time buyers, sellers, uh, existing homeowners. So imagine today the pain of the homeowners. If we have issues like appliance issues or leakages or drainage issues, what do you typically do? You would reach out to your friends and families, you would go to the YouTubes and the Googles to look at some videos and understand how to fix something. You will manage to reach out to a, uh, a contractor uh, using you know, the, the either uh, you already have the contractor numbers or through your friend or family. You'll make an appointment. As soon as you say the word problem, they are basically going to say that they are going to charge you $75 to come to your place and actually troubleshoot the issue. Well, you make an appointment and wait for them. The professional arrives. They will actually give you an estimate at this moment, you already bought into the whole service. So you basically go ahead and get the problem fixed and basically say your money bye-bye. Imagine this with Chrismo. You have a problem, you open the Chrismo's app. You ask the expert, you ask the Chrismo app, I have this kind of problem. So for example, I have leakage in my sink. You get connected to an expert instantly. You're able to review uh, the feedback for the experts, you're able to uh, chat with them, you're able to share photographs with them. You are able to have an audio call or a video call using this app with the expert. You are able, the expert is able to guide you in order to troubleshoot the specific issue. So, um, you know, if you're a DIY kind, they can actually help you to say, why don't you go and fetch this particular part from Home Depot or Lowe's and, you know, get these particular tools and get back to, uh, on, on the call with me and actually I can guide you to fix it. If you're not a DIY kind, then uh, of course the expert will help you to identify some contractors who can actually, uh, who can actually come to your place and do that particular service for you. So in case we able to solve your problem, we charge you $10 for that call. And in case we manage to pass to you a contractor, in this case, you don't pay anything. The contractor is actually paying us for the qualified lead, right? Uh, of course, you are able to uh, you know, provide the feedback for the experts as well as contractor and so on and so forth. You can extend this to your imagination. You know, you, you bought a new house, you want to uh, choose drapes, you have a uh, wooden floor, you want them refinished, you have a carpet, you want to change that to uh, wooden floors, and so on and so forth. You can extend this to all your imagination, but we are very focused purely on homeowner segment. So let's talk about the expert side and the contractor side. The experts are the people who actually give you the live assistance, and the contractor are the folks who are actually coming to you at your place and giving the in-home service. So how do we get hold of all these different experts? Passionate employees of the independent contractors, retired professionals, veterans. We actually are talking to the veterans and all, and they are extremely excited to basically join on the service. Market, $300 billion home improvement market. Charlotte exchanged 37,000 houses this year. Imagine our, our target is the before and after the house is sold. That's where people actually invest and make the house livable. Where are we? Well, we actually use the prototype to do a lot of primary research. We are recently completed all the UX and UI design. Our development is going and we plan to launch uh, the beta launch in May this year. So an actual launch in August. That's where we are projecting. Competitors, what are our differentiators? Huge competitors, Pro.com, Pro, Home Advisor, Porch, you name it. We, A, we are 
we are giving you instant gratification. B, we are extremely focused. We don't want to go behind, you know, can you please walk my dog or legal services and whatnot. We are very local focused, local Charlotte, that's our, that's uh, Charlotte and city by city. We are not going national and go crazy. We want to celebrate the DIY, right? And last but not least, it'll give us a huge expanding of the workforce by including the veterans and the retired professionals, make them a part of the workforce. Thank you, folks. See you on Christmas. So what, what's the barrier to entry? Well, first of all, really quickly, what's the revenue model, but then barrier to entry. So Home Advisor, they have all the contractors, they have all the customers, they have huge scale, and they could build an app in a pretty short period of time and offer this as a convenience. So absolutely, and in fact, quite a few are doing that. Yeah, for example, Pro.com actually bought you know Fountain.com, right? I think it's 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 less of a building the technology, it's more of the business model, right? Yeah. I think the changing the business model is the complex aspect. That's now Home Advisor and all. They are, I mean, I I would call them almost like glorified yellow pages, you know, Angie's list and all. We have a very specific business model. We want to go city by city. Uh, going across the state and all, but again, focus, very local based focus and then purely homeowner segment and the business model, that's, that's the critical aspect. Well, what, what's the key, so I think if I thought this was a brilliant idea and I have a bunch of developers upstairs, what's to keep me from going and doing it? What, what do you do that's very unique, that's very hard for me to copy? Actually, the, the unique aspect of course is that instant gratification. And more than the technology, the more important is the operation aspects. And we are focusing on the operations. We are focusing on recruiting the experts, recruiting the contractors, getting the veterans. That's the critical aspect. Technology is probably just 1% of it. It's 99% it's is the operational aspect which we have to focus on. So when you say operation, you mean the experts coming in to do the job? Absolutely. Experts, contractors, having that balance in between, you know, perfect balance between the consumers who are going to use this particular app as well as the number of experts and number of contractors. That's the key. That's the key. We want to maintain that balance. And of course, from a technology standpoint, we have a huge, huge roadmap. We want to automate this. We want to you know, include bots and all. We want to utilize the artificial intelligence, for example, to keep the customers engaged while we are searching for the exports and whatnot. So I think technology is just one aspect, but the operation is the key. It's so, like an Uber for home improvement. You can say right, that. But it's, so but if, if I'm a consumer and I'm a do-it-yourself do person, uh, I connect with somebody, I get some good advice, I go do it myself. So I haven't paid anything, right? You pay $10. No, you pay $10 for, we can, we can actually guide you, right? So. Okay, just for, for the interaction or for the app? For the interaction. Okay, so oh, you're not paying any subscription fee now. So, and, no and I'm a service pro provider. Uh, what, like, for a few dollars, I'm going to guide somebody? Is that absolutely? In fact, imagine. Uh, so we we are sharing that revenue with the exports. So that's number one. Right. right. Now imagine retired professionals. They are not earning any money. They have lots of passion. They are not able to go to people's house. For example, we actually have we actually have a professional who is having prostate cancer. He's not able to go to people's houses, but he has some immense amount of experience to really share it, to write. And, and that's the kind of professional we are actually extending that workforce, including them as a part of economy, and that, that's, the, that's the good stuff. And so when the person comes to the house and does the work, how does that work? So uh, we call them contract, just like independent contractors, right? So these independent contractors, so the experts are those who are only providing with the live assistance mm -hmm. using Chris Moore's app. And the contractors are actually people who are going to come to your place, right. right? Because we are giving them a qualified lead, they are paying us $25. Today, for example, many of these contractors, they are a home advisor and all. They basically get a huge leads and whatnot, right? They are paying $30 per lead. And that's just shot in the dark. We are actually passing a qualified lead to these contractors who actually have the same experience. Contractors, they don't need to come to your place. Contractors can actually give you, can go through the video, look at, look at your, what was the problem. They can actually give you a live quote. If you agree for the live quote, then you can invite the contractor. So that's the beauty of it, right? Contractors also save tons of money by actually not visiting from place to place. They are able to extend the customer base by that. 
So you're getting $25 on the... From the contract, From yes. the contractor, $10 from the interaction with the Correct, consumer. yeah. Is, is, this, is this a solution looking for a market or a market that's w looking for the solution? Is there a need to where... It's, you know, it's, I'm really frustrated because I, I have somebody come out or... There's, yeah. there's a huge market. I mean, we actually use the prototype and, and, and you know, did for primary research. There is a huge market for the users. Users are extremely excited, you know, contractors, independent contractors. And then Billy, my, my uh, co-founder is here. He is 30 years in the HVAC industry. And he goes from people's houses to houses, right? And when, when he is basically telling them about Prisma, they are super excited. They said, we want this stuff tomorrow. Not only that. We actually uh, met one of the uh, one of the homeowners who uh, who uh, has eight houses for rent. Mm -hmm. She said, "Today, every time my rentee calls me, it's a huge issue. I don't want that pain. I want Chrismo to be the first go-to app for all my rentees. I will reimburse them back, but please don't call me." We actually <laughs> met. Yeah, actually, that, I could see that's that. a better market. I like that yeah. market. Yeah. Yeah. We we met a homeowner association administrator. He he administrates eighty condos in the building. He says every time I get a call, it's a nightmare for me. People don't even know how to switch from heating to cooling. Right. They say I have been trying to reduce my temperature to sixty degrees. It just doesn't work. Imagine, and you know what? When you invite the contractor, he is going to charge you $45, no, or $75, no matter what. Using the simple app, you can resolve a lot of these simple, simple situations. Yeah. And yeah. customers basically save a lot of money. Contractors save a lot of headache. Yeah, interesting. Is there a competitor in that rental market? Who services that now? So if I, no if I own six buildings, no, nobody. Nobody. Mm. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if, the, if there's nobody. I would, I'd look a little deeper, but yeah. I mean, somebody's got to be servicing that market. If, if I own six buildings and I don't know anything about anything, I, there's companies I can hire to come service that. Correct. There are well, definitely the property management, management companies right. and all. And believe me, Billy here can give you tons of examples from, from the nightmare for the property management companies as well as the nightmare for the users. A simple example, and then Billy, keep me straight here. So, uh, so we had, so imagine, let's say you have a condo or condo, and uh, you know two or three houses, they are their HVAC is not working. Each of these homeowners or condo owners are going to call their respective companies. The issue is not within their home. The issue is actually with the central system. But you still end up paying to your contractor for coming to your house. Yeah. Did you want the audience or not? Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll give you more time on the next one. Thank you, guys.